T Boss, Left Eye and Chili. There's TLC. Kind of a smooth groove for uh, Tuesday morning. Most of you hustling and bustling around to get into the shop, get the kids already off to school, and here we go. Mike Barrett with us, as we promised, with good policies. Mike, good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Get out and vote, people. <laughs> That's the right. day. It is the day. Get it out is. and do it. Yep. Hey, you can't complain if you don't vote. Well, that's why I vote, so I can complain. <laughs> Absolutely. darn lately. No, but I'll don't. tell you, I mean, if it's any indication, I mean, it's going to, you know, Waterford was jamming this morning because at the Waterford School is where they have the polling place. And so I was driving Ethan off this morning, and it was busier than usual. So uh, that's, that's a good, good sign. That's a good sign. That's good. Make yeah. your voice heard. All yeah. right. So um, I know we always talk insurance needs and why people should uh, update their insurance here. But you and a great group of folks have put together a new group uh, called the NEK Cancer Action Network, Northeast Kingdom Cancer Action Network. You got it. And uh, Wes, who together with Paula and, like we said, a whole bunch of other folks with you, put on a great event this Saturday. Wow, I yeah. haven't heard any updates, but an 80s night with a disco, you can't go wrong. How'd it go? Oh my gosh. It, it was a sellout. It was an absolute <laughs> insane event. It was a sellout. It, it, from At least from the surface, it appeared that everybody had not only a good time, but an absolute blast. Uh, everybody, the dance floor from the first song to the last song was full. Um, you know, that's a sellout for us was 250 people. So we had 250 people at the Moose Lodge on Saturday night, rocking the eighties in style. Uh, the costumes were fantastic. Uh, I, I recycled my Halloween costume that I did for the trunk or treat at the Waterford school. So we did Marty for me, where my son was doc and Jen was Jennifer for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> and our car was the DeLorean. The sad part is we had to explain <laughs> what it, the car was because so many people were younger and didn't know what back to the future was. But long story short, I recycled my outfit and had the wig and everything and I get there and there was another Marty so if we screwed up the space-time continuum I am sorry because it get... could have been future Marty it could have been past Marty but we were both there and it was very it was a great Scott moment that's what it was got to get so. back in time I was talking about it going into the morning about uh, what like some of the big 80s styles were because you and I were around then I was uh, uh, older than you but uh, uh, Levi's 501s uh, were at their peak they had parachute pants we had oh, yeah. knit ties the gals yeah. oh my god they get like this most awesome hair and this cool makeup and shirts that require sunglasses to look at and some amazing dresses i am glad yeah, that this great. fundraising event went off as well as it did it that is on Believable. I just, I can't thank everybody enough. We had just, just such a good time. And the money raised, I mean, 100% of that money is going to go right back to people in our community that are actively fighting cancer. Uh, and that's why we created this awesome organization is that if you know somebody who's actively seek, uh, going through treatment for cancer, apply for the grant. Go to our website, nekcan.org. Apply. And believe me, there's money that's going to be distributed to local people in the Northeast Kingdom, Orleans, Essex, and Caledonia County. That is where we're serving. Now, folks, Mike didn't touch on it. Uh, uh, well, he, he mentioned the fact that it is for locals, okay, here in the Northeast Kingdom. But we're talking about everything from a tank of gas to the possibility of having to spend a night in a hotel while yeah. somebody's being treated. And that's yeah. what this is all about. Difficult so. decisions you don't need to make. Uh, we want to be able to financially help you get through this process. We want you to know that you're not fighting cancer alone. We are fighting cancer with you. All right. Now, how many folks uh, put this all together? I'll tell you, the volunteer crew that did it, I, I just, I, I'm I, lucky. I just showed up because we have an, an events team that did the whole thing. Dan Cobb and Paula Ward and Vivian Layton and uh, Ellen Morantz, uh, uh, Wiesa Sanderson. Um, I know I'm missing somebody. Uh, Kim, Kim uh, Russell. Um, some awesome folks, and they just rocked it. I mean, the place just, it couldn't have been a better night. It really couldn't. All right, so. I got to ask, did Thriller get played? And they all got played. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was awesome. Folks. Yeah. My favorite was uh, the Run DMC Aerosmith, um, you know, Walk This Way. That was... Bum, that, bum, 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 yeah. bum. Well, folks, thanks for supporting that, Mike. Thanks to you and the crew for continuing this this great effort. Yeah. All right. Uh, Happy back to insurance. We don't have a ton of time, but we'll talk about it here. That's okay. It's the most boring part of what we're going to talk about today anyway, right? Well, no. Well, I mean, compared to an <laughs> 80s dance party, heck yeah. <laughs> that was uh, the headline, yeah. In, insurance needs... Now, we, talk, we always talk about how important it is to be prepared for when incidents happen, be it a car accident, a house fire, chimney fire, what have you, right? Yeah. yeah. But more importantly, safe driving is obviously key on everybody's mind heading into the winter. Wes and I had a yeah. chat about the importance of a first aid kit. What other tips can you give? Well, you know, uh, winter tires is 
the first one. I I I used to be one of those all season uh, type of people, and the older I got, I, they do say you get wiser as you get older. I've talked to more people. I mean, I've even had great conversations with you about the benefits of going from a summer to a winter tire. Um, so that's certainly something that you should consider. Certainly, uh, some kind of a safety kit, some kind of a first aid kit, or at least a roadside assistance kit in your car. Some cars actually even come with them. Um, but if you don't have one, you know, jumper cables, things of that nature, or a battery boost. Uh, keep extra layers. I mean, we're getting into the cold months here. So God forbid something happens, you know, make sure you have, you know, you may say, I'm just going to run out real quick and I don't need a coat. Um, well, God forbid something happens and you're out there ill prepared with a vehicle that's not running and sub-zero temps. That could be pretty devastating. So um, just have some stuff in there that makes common sense for you and, uh, you know, plan your trips accordingly. And honestly, I mean, the, 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 the distracted driving remains the number one cause of accidents right now. Um, distracted driving is, at a, is, 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 I would say, all-time high, but it just keeps getting higher and higher and higher. Um, you know, put the cell phones down, take advantage of all the technology that allows you to be hands-free, and uh, really just focus on on the task at hand, that's driving. Um, because as you start looking around, you know, we're in what we call a hard market for insurance, right? So inflation is certainly playing a large role in that, where competitiveness amongst the insurance companies not as awesome as it has been in years past. In fact, all of my career, I've never seen a hard insurance market until now, and it's just starting. Um, but it comes from a couple things. Inflation, uh, the cost of uh, all the goods and labor, and the amount of claims being paid out, and auto claims are still tremendously high. Um, you know, companies had a nice reprieve during COVID where the driving was lower and the, the loss ratios were lower and, you know, not as many accidents. But now that we're back in full swing, um, you know, we're starting to see a lot more of that. So just distract the driving. I, I, I'm not going to lie. It's hard not to want to grab and look at the phone or even if you have an Apple Watch like I do to look at the Apple Watch when it's dinging um, when you're driving on the road try to refrain. And I, I've done, I've actually taught myself to not do it, which I'm very happy because it was, it was hard, but it, you, you need to do it. I have a lot of people get f frustrated with me because if I'm <clears> on the road, my phone, I don't care what it's doing. It's yeah. over there. Yeah. Uh, at, and Jen will text people back if they're texting me when she's my passenger. <laughs> so that's, that's, you know, so <laughs> like Jen, you take the phone. As we wrap it up, I just want to share a quick story with you. The other day I was over here at White's Market and uh, the cash register girl, um, the gal, gal running the cash register. Sure. Uh, is cashier. Yeah, is a student up at uh, Northern Vermont University mm -hmm. from Florida. This is her first winter. <laughs> the guy behind me in line just moved here from Long Island, okay? Long Island. And he's never driven in a New England winter. And to both of them, I said, yeah, you want to get some snow tires. You led in with that. Yeah. He said, you know, it's funny you say that because everybody I'm talking to says that's the number one thing to get to get ready for winter. Right. I mean, when I was younger and doing donuts, I mean, no, I never did that. Uh, never mind. I never did do donuts <laughs> in parking lots or anything like that. So. No. No, never, Bar ever. Bar Barrett Insurance contact info. 748-5224. Uh, you can find us on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury, online, thebarrettagency.com, Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Just look for Barrett Insurance Agency. Mike, thank you very much. Be warm, stay safe. We'll see you in a week. All the same, and everybody get out and vote. That's right. Vote today. Make your voice heard. New music from Rihanna coming up and music from Shakira.